Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, you're gonna learn how you can get started in the lawn and landscape industry quickly by using simple and small services. The reason why this is gonna to appeal to you is because I see so many of you guys that you wish to get started in the industry, but you think that you need several thousand dollars worth of equipment, you need several years of experience, and you need the business savviness of somebody who's been in the industry for years and years. That's not true, and how you're gonna start even with on unlimited budget and with limited experience, you're gonna choose simple services. What I'm gonna be discussing is, today is the exact process that you need to go through when you're choosing a simple service, how you're going to perform with this service because you only have that limited window of opportunity when you're doing a smaller service, and how you're gonna to advertise to get more and more jobs with this simple service. Because remember, even though we're starting with the simple service now, we eventually want to graduate to the bigger services. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Isaac Bjork with 2B Green Consulting, and I've made it my passion and my mission to help guys just like you who may be in high school or college or just looking to complete their first business startup, okay? I've made it my mission and my passion to help you guys in every avenue of the process. And stick to the end of this video because you're going to need every part. Let's get started. So in choosing a simple service, the understanding that we need to come from is that, and where most people go wrong, we see that everybody who gives business advice, you just have to bring value to market. You need to satisfy their needs. And that's of course true, but, and even the community doesn't know this, but their need often is just the base level top. What I mean by that is if it's lawn care, their mental need is just in mowing the grass and trimming the grass. Their other needs do not go down to, or their other mental needs do not go down to small, smaller things, smaller cleanup, smaller like trimming or edging, stuff like that. That doesn't go into where they mentally are aware of the need. So how you're going to choose a service is you're still going to base your service off of the communal need, off of the lawn mowing. And what I put competition here is because you're going to base it off of what the competition is offering as well. So how it's going to work is you're going to find the competition that they who's invested in all the equipment, who has the crews, who has the trucks. They're going to complete the bigger job, and then you are going to step in with what I've called a subservice. Okay. How you choose a subservice is by looking at what services your competition provide. You're going to look at the skills that they need and the equipment they need. What you're gonna try and f carve out is a little part where you can step in and do that little part better than the big company can. You need to add value in one tiny little portion. And why it's tiny is because we are choosing simple services. It's not a simple service if you're trying to complete the entire job. Then this video is not for you. Another reason why we are basing it off of the competition, which is based off of the communal needs, is because the client is taking a risk with you and hiring a new company in general. So what you have to, this falls under performance, but when a client hires you to complete this even simple job, they are going to need you to perform better than the top company, okay? You have to stand out with this simple subservice, as I call it, because you only have that limited window of opportunity because the top company, the competition, is still completing the bigger job, which is where the central need is based off. If you start seeing how we have to dissect the major need, which comes from the communal need, which the competition provides, and how you can carve out a subserve, that's a good way of understanding that. It's a subserve based off of the top service, the major company your competition provides. Your mission with this subservice is to stand out from the competition. That's why you need to perform at the highest possible level. You need to make your client think and not only think, but feel that, man, you did a much better job than this other company. Can you possibly do their job as well? And I understand at this point, you are not gonna be able to do this job, but that is how you want your client to be thinking. Because imagine you're in the client's shoes. You, the startup company that you just hired for the simple service did a great job, much better than the bigger company. I, the client, am going to want to stick and help this smaller company. 
So even though the client is taking a risk, it's a smaller risk compared to hiring you for the bigger service. So now this whole subservice is as much a standard job for you, a advertising opportunity, as it is just getting your name out there. Okay, you're starting to get your, your company name out there for the level of jobs you can do. Eventually, the level of jobs is going to correlate to the actual bigger jobs because you're trying to get up in both the size of jobs, the price, everything. So how do you advertise this subservice? Because when starting out, it is a process. That I just What I just outlined there, that's much accelerated compared to how it actually happens. Not every client is going to consent to you doing the bigger job from the start. But So how do you advertise and put this on a steady path to success? Or this is where I see most people go wrong. They advertise just by the subservice. That's the wrong strategy because you need to advertise according to the main service as well. The reason why is, and I discussed this over here, that our subservice is appealing to the base need that the major service provided. Therefore, when we advertise according to the subservice and the main service, we are covering both bases. You can see by just advertising according to one of these services, one of these two, we are cutting ourselves short because if we're advertising according to the main service, then we're going to come up short because we aren't offering the main service. If we advertise just according to the subservice, that is not going to be in line with the need. So we need to gather their attention by appealing to the main service and then show our expertise with the subservice. This is a little different than the optimal advertising because we are taking a loop around to the customer, but this is the best way to get your name out. And again, this advertising is going to be more effective if you can appeal by being much better than your competition and the fact that the risk is much smaller for the clients when you're just completing these simple services. So why did I discuss this with you today? As I mentioned, I have made it my mission to help starting entrepreneurs, no matter their circumstances, whether they have the starting revenue to invest in the top of line equipment, or if they need to start with these simple services. This is just one of the paths that you can take if you are on a limited budget. What I want you to do, because I truly believe that information can only take you so far, it absolutely did so in my business when I started my blog and landscape business, I want you to hit my link down in the description below. That's going to be a free one-to-one -one consultation where I'm going to answer other questions that you have and I'm going to put you on the path where you can choose the accurate service according to your community. In this whole video, I didn't discuss once exactly what community, what service is going to fit your community best because I don't know that until I speak until I have spoken with you. So hit my link down in the description below so we can fix your situation. Again, this is Isaac Pierre from 2B Green Consulting. We'll see you. And the next one.